Tried, didn't you? He's got his ballast up there in the front, that big log that kind of counterbalances his way a little bit. Huh? That's not my ballast, that's my friend. Oh, okay. His name is Log. That's a nice friend, he doesn't talk back, right? Great. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the breeze is getting up a little bit. other boat, man. I mean, it's it's, it's got a, a 55 gallons of water in it. Let me see a spectacular departure from the canoe. Where's the rod? And the worms? And then the knife in that order. Well, well at least those things haven't gone in the water. What? <laughs> He made it. <laughs> yep, but today's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday, and you know what that means. Uh, then come Saturday? Departure. Oh, that's right. And maybe I'll wash my hair today. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Don't be afraid, it's not Halloween yet. That was that was just Eric. Sure. Let me turn the camera on you. <laughs> Looks like Eric's caught himself a fishy. close to the hook as you can, knowing which way the hook is going anyway. Good catch today. Eric, can you, uh, I don't know whether I can focus in on him or not. Can you tilt him up just a little without him sliding off? That much. Okay. There's ten fish on there. Some beauties. Yeah, you turn them up. Just don't slot them down one of those slots. <laughs> nice.
down on us? Uh, slide that thing over once. Where your finger is? Yeah. This one? It should be on the air position. Chores. Just what we brought him up here for. This is how I wash dishes at home. You're right. You're doing a good job, Eric. I know. You cooking that trout dinner? You got that right. Are you? Sure. She'll go easy on you, Eric. Sure. Before I left. Well, you, you made them dirty. He's doing a good job. He'll make somebody a good husband. Fishing, right? That's for sure. Caught me the biggest trout off the lake since 1976. That's... Well, I don't know about that unless you did some research. Hey, well, sounds good. I'm getting out of here. It's getting deep. Oh, my wood is all getting drenched. weather for sleeping. Oh. All ready for the grill. They're beauties. Especially those three big huggers. Mixed vegetables. We've got the uh, five teaspoon tablespoons of uh, butter in here. Five tablespoons of butter in here. Then we got these beautiful fish, lightly salted and peppered, all clean, ready to go. These guys are giving me a big ration of you know what about the heads on the fish. I say the heads on this kind of trout has got to be on. I mean, you know, that's the gourmet way, right? And I mean, they don't call me Chef Boyard. Try take again. <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> Still can't go. Got it. And we're bringing some home too, so don't you guys fret. We got the lemon juice, and the thing of it is, <clears throat> I'm new at this. Um, uh, what do you call it, Eric? Uh, culinary art. Sure. I mean, I got the culinary art thing right here, but you know, I gotta follow this close. You know, the memory is the first or the second thing to go. So it's telling us exactly what to do. 
Is that my idea? It's Outdoor Life's uh, book on everything from uh, squirrels, rabbits, moose, bear, elk. Everything's in this book. How to cook it. Cook it good. So, whatever will be, will be, and we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. So we're just about ready to go. I got my uh, flour, and we're going to... It's like a bag of coke. We're going to take a uh, fish. It's all clean and ready. And drop it in there. I mean, it reminds me of shake and bake. Did you wash your hands, Phil? No. That, hey. He did that, wash me before you went to the bathroom. gives it a little bit of tang. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me get a paper towel.